question number 14. The following flowchart is intended to represent an algorithm in which numbers that are input cannot be negative, which means that it's only positive numbers that are supposed to be input. The flowchart contains a logic error that will affect the algorithm's functionality. Now let's look at what the algorithm is actually doing. So you, after you start, you are assigning the value of the variable highest is zero. So the variable value for highest is zero. The variable for lowest is also zero. And then counter is zero. You are starting with zero for all of these three variables. Now you're checking is counter greater than 999. That is this value. If it is greater than 999, then you are outputting the values of highest and lowest and ending. But if it is not, then you are inputting a number and then you are checking if the number is greater than highest. So if the number is greater than highest, then that, uh, the, that number, whatever you input, will become the highest. And if not, then you are checking if number is less than lowest. Then you are making the value of lowest as that value, that value, that number. And you are going back to increment the value of counter and then again checking if counter is greater than 999. You are repeatedly doing this. So technically what exactly you are doing is you are reading n numbers, any, any n, a value number of uh, n numbers. And then every time you are inputting a number, you are checking it with highest. If this number is larger than the value in the highest variable, then you are making this as the highest value. You are checking it against the lowest. And if it is less than the lowest, then you are making that as the lowest value. But if you observe in here, the lowest has, has zero in it. So you are trying to input uh, ne non-negative values. So in that you are, uh, unless or until you enter some value that is negative, that is less than zero, you cannot make that value as the lowest because zero is already the lowest value. The lowest already contains the smallest value. So you it doesn't actually go whatever value you in, input. It is a positive number. So if it is a positive number, then it's obviously greater than zero. So this the lowest va the variable's value will always remain zero because negative inputs are not allowed and uh, zero will be the permanently lowest number. So there is no way that it would change. So that's that's the logical error which you have in this question. So we go to the questions and uh, see how we need to answer them. So question part A, one, identify the logical error in the algorithm. So we just pointed out what the logical error is. So it's, it's for one mark because we are just identifying the logical error. So we could write for the question one, we could write the algorithm uh, is will always output zero as the lowest. Because We initialized lowest to zero and we input only positive values greater than zero. So lowest will always be zero. So this is your explanation because I am assuming zero to be the lowest value and I'm entering, inputting the values of non-zero, non-negative numbers. So obviously those values are all greater than zero. So that uh, n less than lowest will never occur. That will never happen. So which is the reason lowest will remain zero only. So that's the logical error in the question. So the second part actually asks you to rectify it. So outline how the error in the algorithm identified in part one can be corrected. So 
you can actually give the suggestion to replace lowest with some high value with a very high value so replace lower lowest is equal to 0 with a very high value so example lowest is equal to let's say 99999 so some some ridiculously high value uh, that will never be a part of your input set so uh, it's something that is which is greater than all the values in your input set so this is how you can uh, you can actually uh, make sure that you get the lowest number or lowest value within the variable lowest so that's how you can write down the answer so this question is for two marks so which statement to replace and what to replace it with. So each one of these points gives you one mark, which is a total of two marks for the question. Part B of the question, state the name of the method that could be used to restrict the values that are input. So when you want to restrict that is, you need to make sure that only certain kind of values are input. You put some kind of restrictions on or conditions on the values that you are inputting. So what is the name of that method called? It's simply validation. So validation is the answer for this question. So the process of uh, uh, you know making sure uh, that you uh, make sure that you enter certain kind of values is actually called as the validation check. So in here, we are actually trying to make sure that we enter only non-negative values. So it is a, ra a range check uh, or a not, not exactly a range check. Uh, we actually do uh, a kind of a data type check in here. So make sure you enter only integers. Data type check can be performed. So any of these two names you can actually suggest so that uh, you get this one mark for the question. Part C of the question, based on the flow chart, construct this algorithm using pseudocode. You must include the required changes. So correction of the logical error, only allow input of integers between 0 and 1000. So here you will be doing a range check. Then calculation of average of all numbers entered and then output of the final average. So these four points must be included within the uh, pseudocode that you convert. Uh, you, you write from the algorithm given in the flow chart. So how do we go about doing it? So for the first, the change, the correction that we, we need to do in here is to set the value of lowest to some ridiculously high value. So uh, we go with uh, highest, the variable highest uh, is assigned, let's say minus one. You take a very low value for highest and the lowest you take a very high value. So the value is only till 1000, right? So the value of inputs are with between uh, 0 and 1000. So go with something greater than 1000. So lowest I'm taking it as 10,000. And you have your counter at 0. Now you have, you are supposed to add up all the numbers. So calculation of average of all the numbers. So we need to first add up all the numbers. So total, I'm taking it as zero uh, and uh, loop while counter is less than 1000 because we are starting it at zero and uh, we, we want to uh, set the value. We want to add up around 1000 values. So what are you doing? Input. number now here you need to do the validation check because we need the value between 0 and 1000 so if number is less than 0 or number is greater than 1000 or
number div 1 not equal to number divided by 1. This condition is to check you are entering only integer values. So you are you are doing an integer check value, integer value check in here with this condition. So what are you doing every time? You need to uh, output a message. Output. Your number is invalid. Please try again. Please re-enter. Please re-enter. Else. What will you do? You will check if. If number is greater than highest. Then. Highest is assigned number and if continuing from there after uh, assigning the value of highest to, to uh, number to highest then we do another check if number is less than lowest then lowest is assigned number and if now once after i'm i'm reassigning the value of higher or highest and the lowest i'm going to add up the values into another variable total is assigned total plus number and then counter will be incremented. So counter is assigned counter plus one and then end if. Now after this, you will go with the end loop. You are, you are you're stopping the loop and then you need to find out the average. Average is assigned total divided by counter. Counter is a variable that stores the number of values that you have used. Then output highest. This was given in the flow chart. Similarly, output lowest. And uh, this fourth point tells you to output the final average. So output average. Once you do this, you have this eight marks for the question. So when you initialize, initialization of initialization of highest, lowest and total. This we had done. So to zero, this will give you one mark. Then one more mark is for looping, loop for 1000 times. That gives you the second mark. And then checking if its num number is between 1 and 1000. Check if number is between 1 and 1000. So for that, when you do the check, you get one mark. Then checking if the number is a integer. Checking if a number is integer will also carry another mark. Then uh, running total number of numbers. So total. So where you are adding up all the numbers, that's one mark. Then correct comparison to check. So reassignment of. of highest 
gives you one mark. Then reassignment of lowest, that's what I've done here. This will give you one more mark. And then finally, uh, doing the count, uh, uh, finding the average. So that's one mark. And then uh, outputting the values of average, highest, lowest, and average. This is one more mark. So altogether, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine points in here. Out of these nine points, you could, uh, if you do any eight of these, you'll get the complete eight marks meant for this question.